All right, what's going on, everybody? Continuing on with our turbo build. So you guys missed the last video. We went ahead and assembled our new true turbo. So we have everything all torqued down. All the lines are torqued down. Things from the old one are transferred over. If you guys want to catch that video, I'll lay it down in the description box below. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and move forward. So I think for today, we're gonna to go ahead and try to dry fit everything. Make sure everything's lining up properly. And um, if it does, can you move, we'll continue moving forward and bolting things down. So here are the two downpipes. AMS wide mouth, obviously. Fist that thing. Here's the stock rally art one. Way more airflow capabilities. And this is one piece, this is two pieces. So there's the differences there. Just figured I'd show you guys before I go ahead and hide this away underneath the car. But um, yeah, last time you'll be seeing those together. All right, so first things first, make sure I had all my tools out here. Everything was clean for the most part. What we're gonna need to do is to find our bracket, which is right here. We'll go ahead and place our turbo on there. Forgot to mention when you're doing that, just be really careful with all your lines. You don't want to bend anything. But here is our turbo. And our bracket was like right underneath it. So it's just right off to the side. But that's good enough for right now. Alright, now that the turbo is positioned where it needs to be, what we're gonna go ahead and do is take that oil line that goes into the pan. We gotta go ahead and coat that O-ring with new motor oil, so 5W30 or whatever you guys are running. All right, and this is exactly why I labeled everything. So this is from the rally art. We'll be reusing these bolts. So here's one for one of the mounting areas, and this is the one for the oil pan, the smaller one with the washer. So let's go ahead under the car, lube her up, and get in the oil pan. So the good thing is, here's that oil line sitting right exactly where it needs to be. So. That's a good sign so far. Everything looks like it's starting to line up. All right, before I get too ahead of myself, here is that thicker oil line that goes into your oil pan. Got the bolt in there. Oiled up the O-ring, so that's all in there in place. Above that, right up here, hard to get my camera in there, but here's the banjo bolt with the supplied gasket on there um, from MA Performance. Follow down this thick line. And the other bolt that I had in that bag, I just attached it by hand. Let me see if I can find it for you. Right there. So the bolt sits. So the bolt sits on top and sits down into that bracket. That's the same bracket that holds up the turbo. So that's where you can go ahead and find that one. Um, like I said, I'm gonna keep everything loose. That way I have room to maneuver things and get things to fit. As a reminder, banjo bolt was a 17 millimeter, and this is a 12 millimeter for that bigger bolt that goes to the bracket for that uh, oil line. All right, since we were just messing with that thin oil line, here are the other two little bolts. These are also 10 millimeters. I'm gonna go ahead and put them on the line. Um, like I said, I'm not gonna snug them down or anything, but get them situated in place. So one of these little 10 millimeter bolts, they're gonna fit right there. I don't know if you can see it. Right there and goes into the bracket, so that'll be an easy one. All right, so obviously it is dark. I had to undo everything that I had done. And the reason was the little coolant line down there. That hose was a freaking pain in the butt. I had my brother come down and help me out. But, uh, so I'm gonna call it a night and we'll touch back up on it tomorrow. Yeah. Nobody ever told me or warned you about that hose. <laughs> it was a pain in the butt. So as you know, I didn't have anything attached. I just had it attached to the car. But on the turbo side, I had it undone. And I basically had to re-swap that. Take the turbo out, put it on the turbo side, and reattach it up here. But it was easier said than done with the space that we have, or lack of. All right, good morning, everyone morning following the whole coolant debacle I already threw on the oil line again from yesterday got that all situated and i even got that hell bolt on the turbo bracket to the actual turbo housing so that's up there i haven't torqued it down yet but i can't believe i really got it up there what i had to do for that one though 
um, the tool still in the car, but I had to put the swivel on the long extension and I had a tape with electrical tape to swivel so it wouldn't move as much. Sit it up there and kind of finagle my way, got it in the hole and was able to tighten it down. So that's how you're gonna have to do it. You're gonna have to use some electrical tape or some type of tape to kind of keep the swivel from moving too much, but enough to work can still flex and reach where you need to. And of course, you're gonna have to get to that bolt from underneath the car. But as you can see, you can see the bolt right there kind of poking out a little bit. All right, quick little recap to show you guys everything that's been done. So the hell bolt has been put in. That is the turbo housing to the bracket right here from underneath the car with that long extension on a 14 millimeter hex head with the taped down swivel. As you can see, there's a little bolt kind of poking out through there, so there's that. I have this line bolted up with a little 10 millimeter. I've got that thicker oil line that's bolted up to that same bracket, all right? So that's bolted up. I have the banjo bolt on for the oil line. And then I also have the other end of this thicker oil line down into the oil pan. So. The gasket's on, o-ring is on, um, banjo bolts are all in, so those lines are all good. Bottom coolant is already attached from last night. Um, this top one we can do at any point, so I'm not really worried about that. So next up is, I'm going to go ahead and make sure I clean off the face of the head. And then we're going to go ahead and throw on the gasket and the exhaust manifold. So here's my gasket. I'm going to go ahead and reuse it. There's no cracks or anything in it, so I think it's safe to reuse. Back there looks all clean. Let's go ahead and slide this on. Alright, so before we go ahead and throw on those nuts for the exhaust manifold and the bolts, go ahead and buy yourself some anti seeds It's going to help prevent corrosion. Buy the high heat stuff, so this one's up to 1800 degrees, so it's definitely going to put your mind at ease. When you have to remove it or reinstall it again, it'll be a lot easier for you. But yeah, we're just going to go ahead and apply it to our threads. Alright, and I see this has been applied. I'm going to go ahead and throw in our exhaust manifold now. Quick little side by side for you. Stock. Not stock. This is the MA Performance tubular manifold. So, I think we'll be pretty happy with this one. All right, so at first I was a little worried that that hell bolt holding the turbo into the bracket was going to affect me. Um, but with a little gentle, loving talks <laughs> and a little bit of pushing pressure, I was able to go ahead and seat everything down. So as you can see, everything lines up pretty well. All the studs are protruding through the manifold. And then some of the, some of the holes are already lining up from what I can tell to the turbo. So we're looking pretty good fitment wise. All right, now that the manifold is in place, let's go ahead and put some anti-seize like we did on the studs. We're gonna go ahead and put them on the bolts to go ahead and mount the manifold, the manifold to the housing. Now I figured this was important to show you. So here's the manifold to turbo uh, bolt. But on here, you can see little dimples on one side of these washers. Now what you wanna do is have, you wanna have the dimples on the outside, so it's going to be dimple towards the bottom, dimple towards the top, and then the bolt. Alright, so that's how it's going to sit on there. Dimple towards the bottom, dimple towards the top, bolt. Apply our anises. I really wish I had a paintbrush, but this should be okay. Go ahead and just coat the threads. And that's all she wrote. All right, turbo and MA Performance tubular manifold is now on. I have all the bolts on, all the gaskets are on, everything is on there snug. I haven't torqued anything down. I'll do that all towards the end, that way I have everything. That way, if I have to take it off, I don't have to worry about brake torques again. Um, and I know everything's gonna be secured. Plus, it gives me the maneuverability, if I need to, to go ahead and adjust things for the most part. So go ahead and make sure you don't drop any bolts. Now, an important leader in my life once told me, a wise man learns from the mistakes of others. A smart man learns from his own mistakes. So be a wise man or lady and uh, don't drop those bolts. <laughs>
But for our next challenge is, we're gonna go ahead and line up and get this downpipe on. <laughs> 